Hey boys. Sheep Elich pouring in. Today is Friday. Friday I uh, visit the local game store for Magic. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to be uh, on later. So I started uh, starting early for the day. Which uh, means uh, Carl Franz is still not available. <clears throat> I don't want to start it at this hour or uh, today. But starting tomorrow, I promise Carl is available. I can finish, yeah. We, uh, why is still green name? Should uh, turn red. You actually green at heart, but uh, you fall to your uh, dark desires. Especially uh, among other red names around. Okay, we are back with uh, Ursun Revivalist, I think this faction is called. Ursun Revivalists, I think. Yeah, Ursun Revivalists, I got it. It's turn 56. Got uh, 31 settlements. And uh, 29,000 income. If this faction is this powerful, that means uh, Katarin is powerful as well. This faction might be even more powerful than Katarin. Due to not being the part of the Kislev uh, mechanic. Oh, and you can confederate Katarin, no problem. This faction is probably uh, even more powerful than uh, Ice Court. Even if it makes less sense. This faction is less than the other two Kislev factions, but uh, it turned out in the end to be more. Boris Ursus himself. Let's go visit Archeon and his friends. <laughs> we are coming, there's nobody in sight. We'll... We uh, we uh, defeated Archeon here. It was a bloody battle. But uh, don't you love it, uh, defeating your biggest threat with just uh, basic armies? Serena will be available next turn. Defy chaos. Born to rule. This will uh, grant us the global stuff, huh? We are both servants. We can recruit this at one turn. One turn, one turn, one turn, one turn, one turn. Damn, Kizzle is so OP. So meaning with this and 10 buildings, you could recruit, uh, you could recruit War Best One Turn Global. Look at this recruitment costs. And we are not even the legendary AI. So what is wrong with the legendary AI Kislev? I think they're like Karl Franz, they've been lobotomized in the favor of the Warriors of Chaos factions. Due to uh, the power creep with every new content. But uh, the last update it did uh, didn't feel like that. It's almost like they fucked it up. Maybe different guys were doing it. This is a really powerful faction. It's literally a more powerful dwarves in the hands of the AI. But it's, it seems to me it's very complicated for the AI to uh, get what they need. So the wars can progress easier. 
You need Kislev, Prague, and Erengrad, and, and then you get ridiculous uh, uh, benefits. That those cities go to tier 5, and the AI should be next to unstoppable against other AI. But it doesn't work like that. Hey, though, man, good morning. Hoya. We are running out of devotion. I guess we need more devotion. I guess we ignored all the buildings. I don't really prioritize it, but that event is powerful on top of everything. I mean, look at this. You get like 8% all income and 50% more trade. Just like that. Okay, what's next? I switch. Darina Shevchenko. Mm, we got control over the Janho Mountains, and this area is rich. He's have access to gemstones and iron, that's ridiculous. Not having Temple of uh, Heimkel uh, is a... Uh, is, uh, it's not good, but uh, we maintain uh, peace with the uh, Disciples of Ashut. Iron is really crazy for Kislev. Upkeep minus 3%. Other factions, upkeep minus 3 for these units, that units. Kislev, upkeep minus 3%. Okay, uh, so the plan here is to uh, resume war uh, against uh, Wolfric. Wolfric is all in on the Empire, we're gonna be all in on his ass. So we're just gonna destroy him fast. Never I travel the world seeking jewels. Yeah. We have excellent buffers. This is like... Uh, what they call it too easy. Carl, Gilt, High King, uh, Circling the Drain, Karakadrin, uh, Trash Empire, Disciples of Shoot. So, natural progression into Norska. And Boris is gonna go destroy any big threats. One is expanding, one is just destroying anything from far. We deal with uh, all the travel makers, our allies dominate. While we turn into a superpower. Hey, Lisa Vlatorian. How's my morning going? Excellent, excellent. Taking a walk uh, with my nephew before uh, crazy heat later, or storms, or whatever. And I uh, just got home, had some uh, breakfast, and playing Warhammer 3. Got uh, magic laters. I'm looking forward to my uh, Mondays and Fridays. It's, uh, those are f the fun days uh, uh, in my life currently. Yeah, it's weird uh, weather outside. It's uh, really hot, but uh, the storms are coming. Don't have range uh, for the Forbidden Citadel, so we'll just encamp. Get camp at once. So much about this being fixed. It looks like half assed fixed as usual. Minister has no resources. Minister, Minheim, Weismund, and Karaburg. I guess they have a one and a half resource. It's kind of strange, uh, 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 really. I mean, this makes a little bit more sense, I guess. Uh, the, the having two. I should have added, uh, put iron in one of these two, probably in the Black Pit. 
Let's place uh, iron feet. There's a lot of uh, places in the world that is inconsistent with uh, with uh, how their uh, provinces work. Like uh, this place should have wine, and they forgot about it. This is uh, one of the oblasts, no resource, and this is another oblast, no resource. We have iron in this one and timber in this one. So one of these two uh, provinces should have a resource. Probably put the uh, uh, wine here and uh, possibly uh, force in the Force Ragov or for Osirsk. Capital probably better. Money is amazing. Uh, if you see armies like this, these are basically our patrol armies. But if anybody is boarding on the borders, they will fight. We have money now to upgrade these armies. The next step for these armies is uh, light war sleds and some uh, armor coasters. My decision is law. The sacred embrace of ice. Almost on a sexual. Seeking intrigues. I balance this unit. Uh, but it should still perform pretty well. Light force leads to engage into harassment and the uh, armor coasters to have a better uh, uh, welcome party when they get close. Some damage and they can hold. Look at that 60 defense. Egg 55 currently because of encamp. So this patrol army should literally be armor coasters, light war sleds, coasters with spears preferably, and uh, one or two little groms. This is basically our uh, our uh, uh, patrol army. You can deal with anything. It's not very expensive. Governor of Kislev's lands. I speak for Kislev. Lord of the provinces. There is no need uh, to focus on melee uh, when you can create a powerful, uh, uh, effective range army. His low is primarily range. It cements my power. Have a uh, looks like they have okay troops, some okay stuff on the other side as well. I've been going for a uh, bear baiting. Give friends with all the bears 10 attack and 10% damage, it's crazy. Does Kislev have an equivalent to the Hellstrom rocket batteries? Yes, it's called uh, Alliance with the Empire. The bear lifts us. A little grom is literally made uh, to snipe uh, big large units uh, or to counter ogres. So it's a solid uh, unit but uh, not really uh, critical to Kislev armies. Do get a strategic advantage uh, uh, by having little grom in the army. 
There's no reason not to have a little grommet arm because of it. At least one. We are going to be recruiting uh, stuff, stuff like Little Grom in uh, Prague. Prague has a slot for it. If Little Grom is available, there is no reason to uh, not put in the army. At least one. That's like my opinion about the unit. More than one? Well, depends. If it's a range army, two is fine. This economy is amazing. So we need to take the Forbidden Seal and Monitor of Flesh. Winter 2 has been destroyed. I just talked about uh, uh, the uh, the Kizl army. Uh, armor coasters, coasters with spears, uh, little war sleds and little groms. Any lore is good with that as well. It's like an ideal uh, uh, mainstream Kizlo army. If you have like endless resources, uh, uh, coasters with spears are ice guard uh, glaives. And uh, armor coasters are stealthy. Stealthy armor coasters, I think it's almost the same. In, in an army like that. Star guard is not good. They don't have guns. And their stats uh, are, are uh, not good enough uh, for just being a melee unit. Well, the great weapons are okay. Uh, the shield ones are, are I would say, uh, underwhelming for such a unit. More stats, more AP. So anybody using Tsargar, guys, you're doing Kislev with this favor. The stat horse at the CA are taking all this shit. Stop using Tsarguard and we might actually see them great one day. Maybe they even reach the above average status of the Hammerers. Archeon is focusing us, we are focusing him. Primary goal of this campaign, destroy uh, Archeon and destroy Wolfric while expanding to 41 regions so we can end the campaign. Anything for Kistia. The bear is with us. It is Kistia right now. Hear me roar! I mean, I'm not saying that Sargard Gravims are not solid. Uh, they're solid. Sargard, the regular ones, are poor. But Isgard exists and they beat both units. They might not have the toughness, but they're way, way more versatile. We need uh, someone to follow Boris so we don't waste movement. Archeon is spamming like crazy. Demon Slayer. If companions today will start Carl immediately, uh, unfortunately, no Carl today. No, it's bedtime. But I promise, uh, Carl will start uh, uh, tomorrow. If people wants it. I was uh, debating should I play Diablo 4 or uh, Warhammer 3 right now, but I uh, actually picked Warhammer 3 over Diablo 4. So enjoy Boris uh, while you still can, because uh, I think people are just gonna strangle this campaign the moment the color is available. C 
61 until large. That's ridiculous. The great bear rewards me. My natural environment. Meow Ying. But if this campaign ends today, uh, when we get back, we're playing uh, Carl. Karzakarak is doing amazing. Nice to see. Nice to see that can still happen. Only thing is, top manager, those bears can still get multiple buffs, including Frenzy. Frenzy on a unit like that is, is just... I still can't believe they added that, uh, that such thing even exists. You dare. It's like having uh, 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 more ridiculous monitors. Storm Dragon. Who calls? Ready. Ready to swordfish. I think the main issue here is uh, him having a 50% upkeep reduction. Which means you know they're gonna recruit any unit in this army other than bears. And then you have keys left. And Kislev lowers the upkeep on the bears by another 10%. And the war bears is already by far the strongest unit Kislev have. So... I guess some people would say it makes it a little bit boring. Bodies yeah, the bears are better than the monitors because they're tougher. Unbearable. Uh, people are allergic to armies like this because uh, armies like this, armies like this uh, promote bad gameplay. I mean, it would be okay if we had to fight some battles, but uh, I 100% accept that this army is just an out resolve army. But if occasionally we have to fight a battle, so be it. For 4,400 gold, you get one of the most powerful armies in the game. It's even more powerful than the Isgard army. But the Isgard army is more versatile, because you can actually fight uh, some weird battles. What do we do with this army? We could send them to uh, guarantee the, the end of uh, uh, Sylvania. But Sylvania is going down. Uh, we don't have to help. It's a waste of time. So the best thing to do would be to just uh, put more pressure on Wolfric. This army will make Norska cry. I mean, Vorbear sold to make the Norska cry, but this one will make them cry too. Do not tarry. Move. I, I mean, the war with Chorps, no, we have uh, friendly relations with Chorps. Uh, we made them our buffer here. It's bad because we lost marble and iron, but uh, we got uh, trade agreement, uh, military access. Sulav! A lot of factions have to respect us right now because of this thing here. There's no reason to fight the dwarves. Uh, they're an excellent buffer here. You see these ter territories? This stops all the shit uh, from this area coming to us. Now, we are, we are a major threat to most factions. Onward! All here are honored dwarfkin. We are rank 1, and uh, we are not elevated these people. As long as we are not 60 lower relations, uh, and we are not elevated them, they are going to consider us main threat.
The AI tends to uh, put uh, main threat to the strongest factions in their area. And then the faction they don't like. This economy is nuts. Reminds me of the economy of the Empire. But our troops are cheaper. What the on battlefield pseudo uh, pseudo fighter? Send him against units uh, uh, like uh, like if it's on a bear, you can easily harass a chariot or a range unit. Pretty good role for him. Uh, Patriarchs uh, are not critical in the army unless, unless you want that replenishment. In some armies where the healing is okay, I, I guess it's good. I follow the bear. Like in this case, uh, this Patriarch has uh, plus two attack for the bears. And uh, we get the uh, big heal as well if needed. But uh, other than for replenishment, he kind of uses this army. Scouting, magic, movement range, replenishment attack. Scouting magic, uh, movement magic, uh, replenishment attack. That's how I see it. And Boris is a duelist to kill large threats. The bears are there to auto resolve. The bears are there because they're his best unit, this makes no sense to recruit anything else, but they're so powerful uh, they trivialize anything. I return. Units like this should a little bit limited uh, or extremely expensive, but it is what it is. Corsair Spears are better than regular Corsairs if we come to a tough fight. The Vastra is secured, so he doesn't need uh, this building. I'm, I'm still uh, shocked how many uh, request tokens have been uh, spent on that campaign. It makes me happy that uh, people are using request tokens. The only you could have done are Nessable Conquest. Uh, uh, yeah, pretty much. Somebody could have used two request tokens to request Arnesa Short Victory Plus, and then he could have used nine request tokens to add 900 regions. So, Brutality understands uh, this. But the problem is, Twitch chat is not a hive mind like the people say it is. Some people want this, and other people want that. And they are not united, like a fist. They're like a hand with many fingers. And they don't really uh, agree with each other. Unless it's gachi modes. We have money so we can uh, upgrade these armies. Look, Gnome still turns on. I 
Uh, token is 100 turns, yeah. Marconis asked about it, I told him uh, I, uh, 100, uh, he can add a 100 for token and that's how it started. Marconis is it started this. I, I didn't even come, uh, they didn't even come to me. Eleven random campaigns only if there is no random campaign active. If there is no random campaign active, one token will request a random campaign. If there is a random campaign active, then it's two for the next one. For another one. Frost Bow to me. I accept only loyalty. We look at it, uh, uh, they're actually quite expensive at the, the global curtain. But it's worth it. Well, this is why uh, this is a community effort. Because nobody should decide uh, how long we play a campaign unless they have uh, saved a lot of stuff or they get deep pockets. By the c friends of the Empire, come. Indeed. The By Sigma's will, come in peace. Affirmative. Friendship is more valuable than gold, or so they tell. Agreed. I honestly, uh, guys, I'm only missing the dwarves. Like, I put so much effort and time in that campaign. Now that it's gone, it's like uh, something is. Uh, this was a big time investment and. Uh, Long victories has been achieved, but uh, I'm still missing it. To me, it feels like I quit World of Warcraft. That's how it feels. Uh, this is the list of request tokens, brutality, and how the people got them. more region. The sacred embrace of ice. I don't know guys about you, but it sounds to me uh, highly sexual. And she says like that. But upgrading the army, so it's gonna cost a bit. Peace in negotiation. So, approach us, friend, and make your offer. Don't have money, huh? A challenge? And our greetings. You no doubt have a request, I'll hear it now. I have money. Oath bound. Undermines. Two plans right now, destroy uh, Wolfric and destroy Arcane and his puppets. We have buffers on, uh, on three or four sides. The right to rule. We are Kislev. Another province for me. Iron here. Iron is a very powerful Kislev. Gospodar by blood. No higher authority. Armor cost being a hundred guys, I, I like that a lot. That was a nice buff to that unit. I guess veterancy uh, should be prioritized at this point. Uh, this armor guy will never use this units. Uh, this is too bad. This guy will never use this units. 
uh, these units are uh, good for this army. This is mine by right. Still not corruption here. Why are we so mistreated? It's better because we're missing the uh, the market building. They are one people. Lord of the provinces. This one is ridiculous. This is the the longest range of theater in the game, right? My pop. Uh, I, I haven't thought about it, but uh, yeah, that's actually uh, that could actually work. Approach us, friend, and make your offer. It wasn't that relevant, uh, but the commandment is nice, I guess. It should work as uh, our settlement is higher value. Apparently, air decides it's not. They don't consider our settlement. Uh, uh, our settlement has no value, apparently. That's strange. That's a very silly logic. Our settlement has higher value than their settlement. I guess it's uh, it's going to uh, take into account buildings and uh, and tier, and not really completion province. This is this is why the, this system exists. But uh, uh, what can you do? Maybe on a tier three it would work. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the commandment is okay here, but it's just nuisance here for the rebellions. Uh, the rebel skill will always be very weak, so it doesn't matter. I make military uh, for what? Forgive me for sharing air with filth like you. Well, Legion of Chaos have declared war. That uh, makes sense. They do control Norska. Fire weapons has to be one of the best decks in the game. Yeah, I agree with that. Man, Empire and Dwarves are crazy in this campaign. Oof. Well, we helped him against uh, Festus, right? And Geld, ha uh, Geld has uh, delivered against the Sylvania. Geld and uh, Karakadrin uh, did really good here, and then Karzakar Murin as well. This is that scary old tide. I'm getting uh, Warhammer 2 uh, glimpses. They're not as good as uh, that in Warhammer 3, but uh, this is usually how it went. The fact that Gelt is doing this good and Karsgar is doing good, that's just RNG. 
I would say that uh, uh, I guess we got lucky, you could say. Pest was going down, and Drak going down, and Azza going down did help some of these factions a bit. We, dis we helped some of these factions. Turn 58, uh, we got 33 regions. Any diplomacy available? I stand apart. It's circling the drain now. To war! Greetings, honorable ally. Sign the We are number one, he's number two. Favored daughter. Yes? Uh, not for this campaign, Crazy Tourist, because uh, my goal is to finish the campaign. Yeah, it is right. A settlement is available to us because of that. Top left. But otherwise, you're right. This is uh, very good for trade. I don't play with notifications, and I can just keep this on uh, basic tier 1 to generate uh, like 100 feet per turn. Uh, Boris, uh, uh, the best thing to do Boris is to go into Kizdov. This area is uh, really bad, and you're gonna struggle. Uh, this way, you become a superpower early. Kizlev is really bad, so if you don't do it, uh, the Kizlev uh, just gonna look bad for Kizlev. If Kislev AI was a little bit better, uh, making here would make more sense, I think. Staying there would make more sense. Going for Prague, Erengrad, and uh, Kislev is the way to go. Remember uh, how this faction works. There's only three cities like this in the world. Without these cities, you're never gonna be a good faction. Uh, you saved Kostalin from himself by cutting off his head and making his city guard again. We destroyed him. He was actually the, the, the toughest uh, enemy. So far, he's been the toughest. Even tougher than the Arcan. We did get a little bit lucky here by spraying his military, but he was the strongest uh, thing we faced. The right to rule. Of course, makes no sense. Go to the middle. Pack them apart. Wow. You can't work with Castalton, so you have to destroy him. That's plain and simple. Mistress of the Blizzard. Goya. Hear me roar, Baron of the Motherland. March. Pain is irrelevant. This land is mine. Gospoda. Thanks to Ulrika, we can actually reach this element, otherwise, Kizl cannot do it. Cut them down! In a single turn. We are invincible, Kizl. 
I'm going for the uh, the fortresses, targeting the the Reading Fortress and the Howling Citadel. That's the core of Arkham's territory. If you want to see our campaign. Rebo for Kisnev. Get a bigger bank. This shall be Catherine's seat. Spread our orthodoxy. I don't force doesn't need defense right now. And uh, what, what is this? Ah, the, quite the, the thing is there, huh? Oh. Throw country on. Oh, we can get Prague to tier 5, uh, Kislev to tier 5 next turn. It's kind of crazy having extra 3 tier 5 cities like this, and cities like this. It's like having 3 cars, cars a car. No we need two arms so the Arcan uh, actually comes here. This Barodin and Darina will uh, will try to deal with it. I said march! Kislev's chosen. Another uh, closer we have it. No other may wield it. The rest of this campaign is just an outer result showdown. Uh, looks like it, yeah, Colin. We still have to uh, fend off a lot of chaos. But uh, the critical mass has been reached all the like 15 turns ago. This faction has extremely powerful uh, balance of power. And even if we have to fight the battles, uh, they're equipped to deal with anything. I mean, if you want to see a, a hard Kizzle campaign, watch the Ice Court uh, number one in Realm of Chaos. That was actually a hard campaign. Searching for room. March. There is no alternative. Recycles and lords are uh, not really now. Unachievable. I can't. That campaign uh, felt like Legend of Difficulty.
We can actually recruit the very nice armies uh, for patrol now. I mean, I played it the first time, so it was my first go at them. Uh, with the replay value, it would definitely be much easier. And now that they patched the game, uh, probably even easy, much easier now. Usually, uh, uh, things are always the hardest the first time you do them. Unless they change something drastically over time. And experience, uh, in, my, in my book, tends to always uh, create a uh, challenge. Allow me to give you a zar. Hey, okay. We we'll get the bear baiting next, but uh, we can ask the students. Well, we could finish this campaign uh, on this stream, and when I get back, uh, we play call. Car will be a nice long campaign. Uh, yes, dwarves. Uh, we have long victory, and then uh, in the regions, it was control of the people, Nosmer. And. Uh, People have said it was enough in the moved regions. Goya, I do not tolerate hesitation. Demon Slayer! So Boris goes. I think not. Highborns. I think uh, Pratik and Dirk Brom will do a favor to a lot of people uh, by ending it. Since that campaign was a uh, uh, struggling wreck and mole, would have taken a long, long, long time. And they had the resources to end it. No other may wield it. I deserve a larger retinue. Only the faithful may serve. Eltron. I stand for Kisle. I could freeze this ocean. The Tsarina. Now we are invading uh, Norska here and Archeon there while we're repelling them as well. At the same time. Not possible. Here, five kills as well. Four sons disciple. An instrument against chaos. We're building anything here, they're just gonna go after it immediately. Storm Sumner. A bold stratagem. 
But if someone disarms in harm's way. Embrace this familiar spore. Governor of Kislev's lands. Shh. They're biting for friends in the bears. We have to fight a battle. It's not that important for Boris uh, due to uh, that power being ridiculous balance of power. But for armies like this, it's very important. We have a couple of bears uh, uh, to cover the flanks. Three six required. That's a lot. You're not getting enough devotion per turn. Getting a little bit better because uh, we got uh, chaos wastes, but it's not enough. Those boss are very strong as you get a larger though. What is going on with the Empire and the Dwarves? They are so effective. What have they done? Maybe they got a hidden potential when you're playing Kislev. Arkan, like, uh, just got a call that somebody is threatening his Chaos Fortress. The priority is to clear his Chaos Fortresses and then destroy his armies. Turn 60, we got uh, 35 settlements, 7 left. And income is at 31,000, sick. For the motherland. It is Was that landing? Uh, they seen the ambush and they decided to not attack. If we had this too, we would have been rolling in money. But it's we did. Uh, this was for the best. This was a strategic decision. Fighting this faction uh, is not worth it because of this area here. This faction being strong here makes this area easy, easy for us. Don't have to worry about it. These guys are excellent buffer. In sacrifice to Ursa, the motherland endures. Break them. This will pay for the Kizla territories. Take their head. Hear me roar. Arkane lost his capital, now we just have to go for the Howling Citadel, but he might... Oh, he has, he has actually another citadel there, interesting. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit back a mole here. We should have sent when he uh, went here first. But he has to deal with the Boris, so if he drops everything on uh, invading us, that's excellent. We can invest Boris to destroy powerful factions, we don't need Boris to expand Kislev. We get Catherine for that. I'm not better a solid unit, crazy tourist. It's such a big ass fun unit. Some of those units you can actually put in the army to have some fun with. 
but uh, it's not uh, that critical in the army. Uh, the regiment renown, let's see. It has a hot winter, that's pretty cool. This is just a solid unit. Solid unit. It is expensive, uh, though. This is a fun late game unit. That's pretty much it. Some of those units I must have in the army is so powerful. It's like I could have some. I could have that unit in the army to have some fun. It's pretty much like the steam tank. If the frost asks, only I may wield it. Wow, before me. Oh, we need to get renowned and fear in every army, so we have very cheap armies. A symbol of my unparalleled authority. This was not in question. We cannot hesitate. I born son. Only the most skilled may serve. Others will fight in our place. My rule is cemented. I demand absolute loyalty. Get some little groms. Lord of all, destroy these fools. Strategy. Face my I don't think Wolf has everything. We are back backdooring hard. Power. He's been invested in the Empire when we, when we started the war. Motherland never falters. Kislev is literally made to counter Norsk and Chaos. On top of this, they, we have this. Game is standing on duct tapes, thoughts, and prayers. Galmarl, is that you? God damn, you guys, some of you guys sound exactly the same. You even have pink color, Sims Gal. I need the, uh, this thing here. Huh? The motherland never falters. Hey, girl. Boy. Sigma's will come in peace. Indeed. Yeah, this makes more sense because they get to control their province and we get to control this province. Very impressed by the Empire and the Dwarves in this campaign, and its combined effort of Geld, Kaal, Ungrim, and High King. Very nice to see. 
It's so random that building was acquired. It added more value. We are at 37 regions. Five to go. If you guys want to see a longer borders campaign, add more regions. If not, the end uh, feels imminent. Usually people will remove close to the end. There's a cheaper construction here due to the guy, huh? With all that money we loaded. We just clicked two tier 5 cities as well. Don't need this here. So does, is this important? Uh, in a war zone, sure. It's not very expensive. Garrison is noticeable. There's nothing else to build here, right? I guess we could build forests uh, uh, to get some devotion. Or capacity for the patriarchs. We don't need defenses here. Same here. Arms and markets for uh, economy, and then we just get an option of... Uh, of uh, a forest or uh, a religion. Thanks, users. Any landmarks outside Agrid cities? Uh, not that I've seen. Or uh, remember. Middle Harbor will get uh, uh, extra stuff going for now. You know nothing, Carl. I honestly expected a little bit more from uh, the Norskans, but uh, they feel like such a pushover. Uh, the fact we don't even have to fight them in most battles, it uh, feels even worse. Norska does not feel uh, uh, like a good AI faction. Chaos is fine as an AF action. That's threatening enough. Corruption stalks this land. Never yield. Maiden of the Frosts. Let's use her as an agent for now. Let the Frosts empower us. I don't wanna uh, uh, 
invoke copium uh, here, but uh, cope with me, boys. I have a good feeling that uh, if not this year, possibly next year, a couple of updates uh, will be around polishing the game. Around a lot of these uh, factions, uh, missing uh, items, ancillaries, buildings, and stuff like that. I'm not expecting this year, but next year I'm expecting such a thing. The game is just way too big, and if they delay too long, it's never gonna happen and it's gonna look bad in the end. I mean, the core is good, but it's not very good or great. It may never be great, though. It could be very good, though. Our shared cause is a noble one. I think defense alliance Karakadin is good. I don't want a military line. Okay, they don't want to pay for it. Let's give us access to dwarf troops. in our faith. I expect medieval three within three years brutality. I return. We cannot do anything about these minor settlements, but we can target the, the fortresses. We must keep moving. Boris is perfect for this because he's immune to the waste attrition. Uh, immune to chaos, undivided corruption, chaos waste attrition. So we are targeting uh, warriors of chaos and then we'll target the rest. This is a war zone, we cannot hold it without sending more military. Uh, we put military into Norsk instead. So we're just basically going to uh, target Arkane's uh, core cities. Even if we lose them, as long as Arkane is destroyed, it's all good. Doesn't even have a renown and fear yet, huh? We got Shield of Ice first. In case we have to fight a battle, so we destroy all their hopes and dreams. Very good. A gift this army is, uh, uh, can be much cheaper. Nobody's in the range there. This is mine by right. Hey, Kizlo, has, Kizlo has crazy global recruitment. Winter tides child. It cements my power.
economy is ridiculous! Miao Ying. Are you a god? I stand apart. What? Yes. You dare? By the light of the lady. Ready? Greetings, honorable ally. We'll honor it. Will you? I'll send my best kids of cheerleaders. God damn, look at this thing, shit is insane! This campaign is a fucking joke! Now imagine this campaign that people could screw it if I the Emperor the Dwarves. Now they will turn into a real campaign, right? The Empire and the Dwarves are going crazy. What gives such income? Uh, don't you see what we have? We control all the Kizlu territories plus more and have access to some trade and cheap armies. Our legend lord number one, Boris, has a doomstick that doesn't cost any money. Our legend lord number two has nearly a doomstick that doesn't even cost any money without campaign skills. With only, with no iron yet, we have access to 3 iron. Which is 9% upkeep reduction to entire faction. Oh, actually we got the first one. We have actually access to 3 of them. But I currently build one. Then, our other armies are super effective and super cheap. This is a standard army, currently 3800. No campaign skills. Some, some of the most cheapest and effective uh, uh, armies in the game with two legend lords and literally nobody's bothering us it's just like we are doing whatever we want we get uh, uh, nearly 8,000 from trade that's not even a lot we, uh, we could have much more we do, don't control like four resources that we could control right now Including uh, uh, one extra iron. This is uh, the great city building. It adds up as you expand further. This is uh, where you're going to get most of the money from building like this market because it's gonna be never city. Uh, we get access to the empire uh, ancillaries that increase uh, trade bo boost uh, but uh, I'm not sure if controlling Marienburg or Borloo would grant us more resources it actually would so if we get Marienburg uh, or Bordeloo, we get dirty rich. Because whoever controls those three cities have the best trade, preferably Empire. In this area at least. High elves have better, better, uh, better way to get more resources. Never yield. Which to be? Chosen. One less region, brutality strikes. We are currently at 38 out of 41. And this nigh. A no call today, but uh, it will definitely start more. Oh, 
Lord of all. This is not updated. Uh, Cal campaign is a long victory plus, uh, and the rules are no auto resolve against the vampire counts or wood elves if the odds are favorable. As in, you know, it's a victory. Yeah, uh, Cal campaign is to uh, fight the Empire and possibly Wood Elves. Because uh, the last Empire campaign trivialized uh, this, because we could just auto resolve. We're just gonna have to play uh, more safer instead of more aggressive. Because Empire is a mess in the beginning. Uh, that's the old one, Nikitas. We played the uh, uh, Stasis Born Torum. We don't uh, sometimes make the streamer happy before sending him the 300 plus turns of our nest. So that's never gonna happen. Nobody wastes their precious uh, resources on the 300 plus turns of our nest. Ice court, we march forth. Lord of the province. I had actually a couple of people's uh, people telling me that the brutality that uh, don't like me, don't like the stream, but uh, they just here uh, uh, to watch me uh, suffer. It's pretty much like that. Dead in my face. Move or die. Witch of the ice, you must row tirelessly. Row for me. I stand for Kisle. The ice calls. Kisle's chosen. Bow to me. With this, my rule is absolute. More, more sense to go to Vermut. Yeah, like I said, they're backdoor. Uh, they lost most of the military in the Empire. World Walker. It was not even the worst thing I experienced of uh, uh, behind the scenes of stream. There was some person uh, one time while I was still accepting messages on Twitch. Uh, he was literally just messaging me, praising the stream and everything. And then when I least expected it, he went just like, uh, full bad shit, uh, insane. Saying all kinds of, uh, fucked up things. But I do not remember that guy that, uh, the other guy that, uh, called me autistic air basher. Because, you know, I play the campaigns all the time and not multiplayer. Just because I uh, insulted the multiple couple of times and uh, he got triggered with it. You don't become popular without uh, getting some people uh, along the way that uh, will hate your guts and they will still be around you. For every hundred people that like it, there's going to be at least one or two people that don't like you. 
And the worst thing is some of these people are still around even if they don't like me. All those uh, red people all those years ago, like was Warhammer 2, tried to uh, watch my stream. They, you know, like the idea of these campaigns, but uh, they can't stand my axe and stuff like that. On the flesh, uh, doesn't look like there's anybody there, but he, this guy would go there. But uh, probably gonna need the defense here first. Yeah, I'm uh, alcohol free currently, but uh, back and forth campaigns might be happening uh, soonish. Only a few weeks, so. Plenty of time for alcohol. Because, as usual, there'll be a Nikai request, Arnes request, Kat request, Skarsing request. And some of these campaigns might actually reach in top 3 and then uh, all shit can get started with the uh, regions and stuff. The Snowbringer. That's the sellout campaigns, the tick. We'll have, uh, this is a new thing, you, you, if you're not sure if you've been here, uh, we were doing the, uh, the old sellout campaigns back in Warhammer 2 and 1 uh, with sabotage for uh, people donating to sabotage the campaign. The new system is, uh, since there's too many factions, we don't have stuff like this anymore, but I start a campaign and people can donate to start another campaign immediately and we switch to it the next turn and then we're playing a lo uh, lots of campaigns at the same time. Uh, the three campaigns that are on the highest turn uh, will get finished with a short victory plus. And these campaigns could be uh, any of the, you know, any campaigns in the game. We get to experience early game with lots of actions and we get to finish some campaigns. Is there a time limit? Uh, the uh, requests uh, will be probably for a week to 10 days. And after that, uh, just finish what's left. Top 3. Can you request the same faction several times? So if I manage to finish a faction, uh, while well, the request is still available, you can request again. So, like the last time, some of the requests Nakari. And at the, t at the time, we just had the short victory. But this time we'll have short victory plus. So if uh, Nakari gets finished, people can request a new Nakari again. I think it's better we have short victory plus than just short victory, so the repeated request doesn't happen. Uh, it's a fresh campaign, uh, the tick. The moment the campaign gets finished, uh, we delete it. Short Victory Plus is a bad idea. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, but it's only fair. Because uh, some people don't like the idea of requesting a Kai, and there is no way to add more regions to it, because that's the only time this, this is going to happen. But it's still a hundred bucks. Hundred bucks, hundred bucks. Alongside this, there'll be goal for uh, uh, for various things, including vacation and Bell Brothers. Another uh, SFO campaign as well. I was uh, planning to start with a Kizl one, but since Kizl was a random campaign, I'm probably gonna start with uh, something else this time. Yeah, it was it was okay. Uh, we, it was okay. Oh, 
It's not. Uh, I do definitely dislike some campaigns, but uh, it is what it is. If Twitch wanna people wanna break bank to request these campaigns, well, they can during back and forth campaigns. Money alongside with it, uh, it's you know it's easier, but it's still alcohol in the mix. Uh, hard to not complain. There's currently this, uh, really bad bugs with a couple of factions, and people might have heard about it, but it's not the same until you experience it. Like, just imagine playing a Lizardman campaign, like one of the older ones, and you get a quest for uh, the only fun thing about those factions, the uh, Lord Croak, but you can't get Lord Croak as a bug. Just imagine this happening live on stream. I would have literally just gulped five shots instantly if that happened to me. That's the only way to survive that. Uh, so after all the time of stream, would you do it again if you could turn back time? Yeah, yeah. This is I would I've been doing this uh, every day over half my life. I as well be streaming it. I uh, can't really complain that much. Over half the time, uh, it's it's really good. There are definitely some days that uh, you know are worse than the others, but that's like everything in life. Father Orson wants an example made of you, swine. Swine. Yeah, yeah, the burnouts do happen. I'll do with really anything. I only saw those people who could uh, do a certain activity for a very long time. And once I get to approach uh, this burnout thing, I just load the amount of hours doing it until something refreshing happens. But when the crashes happens, when the bugs happens, or stuff like this, that burnout just hits critical mass way too fast. Bear. Turn 62, income of 35,000. We got 37 settlements, lost one. Yeah, there are days where, you know, I just want to watch something like Netflix or HBO, and I'm like, ah, there's something more exciting going on Twitch, probably. I turn on Twitch, oh, look at this. Got some, uh, my favorite Korean stream in his life. Why not watch that instead? For Mother Kisley. March with pride and virtue. Snow is Kislev's ally. Cut them down. Kislev. We you share your Korean rifles with us? I already did brutality. Did you miss it? My lands extend further. The air is fresh. 
This is a little Grom delivery. This is my province. I even shown some of the clips I made uh, uh, from that battality. If you miss those, oh boy, oh boy, I'm not uploading it again. A symbol of my unparalleled authority. <sighs> Only chaos commands me. A step too far. Never yield. Sister of ice. It's kind of risky landing there without a full vision who's in the area. This is my right. You're a pretender. You cannot deceive the deceiver. We could hit the Port of Secrets. One time I accidentally shared my wrong screen for a custom and I had Morada's dungeon tab open. I don't even know, uh, knew how to explain that, so I just closed and never talked about it. I was in the in the tr uh, the tram uh, one time and I turned on the Morada's dungeon and uh, I don't know how it happened, but one of the videos started playing and it was the loudest sex screaming uh, I've heard in my life. And those two people next to me, they heard it. This is why uh, these days you have a warning on it uh, to open the dungeon and I'm not clicking it but I'm on my phone. I didn't have the Bluetooth uh, 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 earbuds at the time. I learned that lesson. Uh, uh, the next day, I haven't. I, uh, since then I've never left the house with my phone without the, the earbuds. Using uh, Bluetooth earbuds every day. But I'm still not opening uh, Marathi's dungeon. Uh, I'm not uh, getting past that uh, uh, warning to enter the channel on my phone. I own a fleet. Storm Summoner. Can't be the only person that uh, watches porn while uh, well, you know traveling the s around the city on phone. of the motherland. Uh, let's make a short break here. Not sure what to do here. Uh, I think they're waiting us in the fog of war. Be back. Good bye, boys. Archeon is ranked 27, two regions. I think we could land here. What was the worst case scenario? We lose uh, two weaker armies. I want these armies to progress. If I sail uh, further north, they'll just cross it. We'll also just not do anything and uh, let the Boris uh, go back first. Uh, there's a lot of territories here we could take. What about our order of guys yes. here? They got enemies. What? They got plenty of enemies. Zorikas. We got Belagar is gonna get destroyed. Kron has 15 settlements. We only missed iron here at the temple. We could buy this at some point. And 
Yeah, we could definitely buy the temple at some point. Do you see lanes? Uh, sometimes. I think I'm gonna just uh, take those cannons first. Uh, I'm not gonna leave this place. That army is actually depleting our money right now. Sail on! Kislev's chosen. My decision is law. Lord of all. Seeking power. Emissary of the Ice Court. Do they hunger for undeserved power? I have no. I'm delivering the cannons. That's the oh. the thing right now. Yeah, the cannons are coming. This is fine. This side, we're also expanding really fast in Norsk territories. Lord of the provinces. Bow to me. Never yield. On your feet. Guy doesn't have extra replenishment. They're gonna attack the coast here unless we get more military. We're creating a new army in Prague. More economy. more economy here as well. See, it was tier 4. Damn. Damn. So if there are any resources that can be increased in production by 50%. Ice Tooth Mountains. There's Iron Pekka Ice Bay. Another 3% upkeep reduction faction wide. Another 3% here. Could have been another 3% at the Temple Heimkel as well. All odds up. Embrace this welcome call, Kislevites. Dealing with chaos pretty much right now and expanding. Critical mass has been reached like 20 turns ago. Arcane will trigger a short, uh, short victory. Our friends and allies are even more powerful combined than, uh, than we are, so this campaign is uh, gonna be very easy. And the early cha uh, chaos troops are really weak against Kislev. Allow me to give you a czar's welcome. Fighting uh, Luan. Turn 63, uh, we are at 38 settlements. And is night. I control the frosts. It helps my homer. I have survived the death of us. Leave these dogs weak. I priest of Orson. Means I'm signed by Jin.
day will fall. Kislev never falters. My frozen kingdom expands. One land. This is a rich settlement because of upkeep of darkness. Iron is absolutely insane for Kislev. Uh, Boris is destroying Arcan. We are targeting his settlements first. Aram is being recruited here. Set camp at once. We're gonna get a fresh arm in Prague. Get more Patriarch soon. I demand absolute loyalty. That's pretty much a stun army for now. Spear coasters get replaced by uh, uh, all the troops depending on the economy. Better have more arms though. We we'll also have more sleds, but uh, not critical. This army gets recruited in two turns. It's ridiculous. Kislev. On your feet. This is the, uh, their main city. Hunker down here. I will not. The Tsarina. Lord of all. Governor of Kislev's lands. I am a god, not a slave. The blizzard calls. Have to get uh, there faster. I stand for Kislev. As I deserve. A tool fit for a lord. I accept only loyalty. What? The axe thirsts for war. I hope. I am Iron Fist. Some call me a king. You are. And those guys are so strong. I am the Slayer King. Crossroads are in a position where they could get targeted. This one is slightly safer because of terrain. Same for Novchozi. Getting uh, tier three religion buildings uh, for more devotion and uh, patriarchs. Some really valuable territories here. We even get another ottoman. I stood mountains making bank. Because of three ports. This one is safe.
We got uh, 40 territories. Want to go? Other armies being recruited here. Boris will destroy Archeon and his puppets. Then we go for the Legion after that. All the Legion is coming to us. Rag is tier 5, huh? Some, a lot of money to be gained here. Let's at least get the... Uh, and the guild district first doesn't really matter uh, by the time we build it I, I guess it's fine by the time we build it uh, we'll have the money for the other stuff Putting more money into military, uh, we can afford it. Nine armies. <laughs> Nine armies. Uh, one is emergency and one is delivering troops. Thanks, Regiment Renown. We are Kislev. Leave. Emergency delivers. But with that buff from technology, it's what made um, as win this battle, not just regiments now. It's top on the top on the top. There's too many buffs and keys left against demons and these things. But there's also settlement buff. And I can't believe how effective the Empire is in this campaign. Real strong man. Together we are stronger. When our allies are uh, filling our bank, military acts, we can see all their territories. One more region to uh, Boris. Shekel spoof, nice. Ebertit. Doesn't do anything. Ten a leadership against demons or chaos or armies. So we defeated the Legion of Chaos leader, and this is what we get from them. Here, huh? Timber here. The right to rule. It's Wolfric. Still good balance of power. More taxpayers. Excellent. Boyar's right. Uh, we got 42 territories out of 42. Goal complete. Uh, timer starts. Uh, now. Nobody has any territories in a minute. Inside a minute, the uh, campaign is over. I mean, it's turn 64 top manager, we got progress of a turn 100 plus. Uh, no call today. Uh, 
Cal has a, a rule the no auto resolve against vampire counts uh, or wood elves. Other than that, anything else. I got magic in a few hours, so I don't feel like uh, starting cult uh, now. All armies, every battle. I do so races specifically because uh, those factions are interesting to fight for the early empire, and they're the only ones that can cause trouble. But the balance of power favors the empire. Somebody has noted this uh, on one of the Empire campaigns because uh, of the uh, Orion dying to the forts instead of uh, causing us uh, handicaps or setbacks and some of the battles against the vampires uh, are, uh, would be extremely difficult without uh, auto resolve especially if they are the ones attacking So you gotta have to be careful how you do it and not just uh, delete them all without the resolve. Oh my god. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. What the hell? Well, uh, looks like that's it, boys. Are for first Ursin Revivalist campaign. This campaign is, as I expected, you know, Kislev to be crazy. Kislev is crazy. But, uh,. I don't know. Boris is the best kill the faction, but it doesn't feel like he's the faction. Which uh, makes it the worst faction. But I'm really biased against consulting, consulting is the worst faction. It seems really off uh, with the mechanics. The, this thing here. So you could just literally uh, go into Kizl, attack Kostaltin and uh, confederate uh, Catherine. That feels like a loophole. Boris gets a loophole while Catherine has to work for it. Then getting Catherine on top of Boris, on top of all of Kisle very early, just insane. And you can literally just snipe all the threats. Because the Boris is uh, overpowered. Snipe uh, Prague, snipe Mulder, snipe Kostaltin, snipe Azazel, snipe Festus, Draika, Azak. Click, 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 click. Of course, bad RNG can uh, strike here and uh, the events can go really poor here, but Catherine is a buffer. Your territories are irrelevant, so you clear all the targets, Confederate Catherine, and then expand from that. And I think that should be always pretty consistent. Stalton is uh, free expansion. He hates you. That's why I kill him with Boris. Makes no sense to keep him alive. But uh, he was the only, only tough uh, moment in this campaign. If uh, you know when we are arriving to territory here, when the Robespierre clan declared war on us, because they knew what's about to happen, we were doing the same to Constantin, and he didn't declare war on us. If he did, he would have had three armies on us, and we would have had no chance to clear him. Instead, we had the first attack, first move. We spared his military and managed to clear him, anyways. So a weak faction uh, did the right move, and the strong faction uh, ignored us, and they hated us more. Maybe Consultant cannot declare war on Kislev like the minor factions can. And the fact that Boris can declare war on Consultant uh, is also uh, weird. As a loophole. And then uh, Catherine is just a buffer until you confederate and then you become very powerful. You get tier 4 Kislev and do whatever you want. All these enemies around Kislev are too weak to face Kislev. And then you have dwarves and the Empire uh, as massive best buffers. This area has uh, the best buff for Kislev. And with Dwarves and Gel do well, it's just trivial. You get all the exit to this area here, the rest doesn't matter. 
Oh, it makes me curious uh, how would we make even a difficult Kizlo campaign. I just love it how the Boris can get bears and Kislev and then go into wastes and uh, just delete everything. Kislev also dominated as the AI, not from my uh, experience. They struggle. They, uh, they, they really struggle. From my, my experience, Warhammer 3 and the Immortal Empires, they struggle. Can go to Kislev until kill Arkham and Demon Prince? I, I would never play Boris. Uh, uh, my. I would never pick Boris. I'd always pick Catherine. Boris is a is a shit faction. I, I would never pick him. The faction makes no sense, and uh, I, I I'm not a fan of it. I shield faction, I don't mean weak faction, I mean the faction that makes no sense, uh, I didn't put any, any sense into it. The B Boris makes no sense, because uh, how Kizil is made, with the great cities and the oblasts, right? And then you have this guy, who's not part of the Kizil mechanic, but he has X to Kizil mechanic. He can attack uh, Kostaltin and he can confederate Catherine with no mechanic. So they fucked up. They should have blocked uh, war on Kostaltin and they should have blocked uh, confederation with Catherine and attached to some kind of mechanic for Boris. And then it would make sense and it would be a proper faction. Boris and Afterthought, yes, Boris and Afterthought. And he's also way too overpowered because of his bonus. You know, guys, how I said that this is uh, over the top, on top of the war bear stats. When dealing with chaos, look at this. The lost Tsar returns. Boris gets another buff, and then he gets another buff. Boris just way, way over the top. It's like, Kiz are supposed to uh, struggle against Chaos and they supposed to, you know, after a long struggle, come over on the top. Or like, I get a pyrrhic victory in the end. But they made Kislev to completely annihilate Chaos and Norska and the demons and everything. It's like... Like I said, it's the Space Marines. They, the Kislev is way over the top. You know, like, uh, the Empire State Troopers, average uh, Joes, Steves and Bobs. Have to fight uh, with supernatural forces. They are the ones that are supernatural. They are literally equipped to deal with anything. And Kizil is dead and more. And his boys, uh, this will be for now. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, deal with some stuff. There is a small chance I might be back tonight. But uh, I'm not sure. We'll see how I feel like it. My schedule is weird. Uh, Carl starts uh, tomorrow with, uh, with the stream. Stream is probably going to start around this hour. Thank you for watching, boys, and uh, see you next time.